Okay, I'm in the Go book. We are on Word Chapter 2, Project B, and this is the second video, and we're on page 203, Activity 2.17, Finding and Replacing Text. Do a Control Home to move to the top of the document. I just did that, and now I'm up here to the left of the letter J. And go to the Home tab, and in the Editing group, way over here, select Find, and we want to um, click find and it brings up this little find window over here on the left side they call this the navigation pane and we want to type a C and it finds um, all locations of a C uh, they're all going to be highlighted in yellow and it tells us how many results it found up here and this time we want to type uh, enough occurrences here Or the word accessible to show up and there it is and we want to click this word actually let's double click on it and then right click and then what we want to do is um, I'm sorry just double click and um, available placed on top of it and close the navigation pane over here and um, go to the home tab go to the editing group over here and click on replace this time and this will let us find something and replace it with something else and um, in find what I want to type uh, FP, FPCC I want to replace it with Florida Port Community College and you know in reality you probably wouldn't use uh, find and replace for this unless it occurred a whole bunch of times in your document uh, if it was just one replacement that you were doing uh, that'd be pretty easy to do so um, we're now flipping over the top of page 204 and they want us to click on more here and this lets us find not only find FPCC but it lets us find it with particular attributes um, we want to match the case which means it has to be all caps before we will do this and uh, click on uh, replace all and there were two replacements in there and now we have Florida Port Community College instead of FPCC and um, go back here and clear this box and go back to less and then go ahead and close that window and now we can save our document. Now we're moving on to activity 2.18 which is selecting and moving text to a new location and there's a couple ways to do it. You can cut it using control X um, and then paste it in using control V someplace else or what most people would probably do is just drag it and drop it uh, by you know selecting it with the mouse and then clicking and dragging it where you want it to go and I want um, the paragraph begins with a permanent position and I want to find um, the word days so double click on that to select it and then it says point to the selected word to display the pointer mine's red yours will be white um, drag to the right until the dotted vertical line that floats next to the pointer's position um, after the word hours so I want the word hours over there and I want to double click on hours and I want that to the left of the word or so a flexible number of hours or and I missed that I put it in the wrong place it's right in the middle of the word and so I'm gonna have to drag it back over here and then I'm gonna have to delete that space between the a and the n and maybe I need to make that a little bigger so it's a little bit easier for me to position the mouse in the right spot. Um, okay, um, in the paragraph that begins, I am available, click anywhere in the first sentence to select the entire sentence. Um, I am available. So hold control down and click, and it will select the entire sentence for me and uh, I want to drag that to the end of the paragraph so let me be a little more careful here click 
and drag and there's a little insertion point there and I want to make sure it's right after the period there and it will automatically put in uh, a space there between the uh, sentences. And now I'm on activity 2.19 the bottom of page 205. I want the paragraph that begins you can contact me right here and I want to put the position uh, the insertion point in the blank line above the paragraph so that would be right here and I'm going to insert a table there go to insert and I want a two by three table two by three and this will appear and then I'm going to type in some text here press tab and press tab and then I'll complete the table uh, offline here okay I've got all the stuff typed in the table and now I want to point uh, up here and for the table selector and uh, select I'll just click once to select the whole table and we got our table tools up here and on the layout tab what I want to do is I want to do uh, an auto fit here and I want to auto fit the size of the table to the contents of the table so uh, it shrinks the table down so now it looks like this and then um, I want uh, to do a style here and the one I want is um, under plain tables I want the second one so that would be this one the name should pop up here and it's table grid light that's what we want click on that and uh, it lightens up the borders around the table and um, then you gotta select the whole table here in order for this to work um, now what I want to do is I want to go to center and that will center the table horizontally and let's save it and that takes us now to um, objective number six in activity 2.20 and I'm now at the top of page 207 and I want to position the body of the letter um, on my screen and then examine the text to locate the wavy red underlines and in the lower left hand corner I've got a little icon here that's easy to overlook. It tells me that some proofing errors were found. And it says click to correct. And um, so let's click on that. And uh, no, it's not. Um, so now I'm on number three. It says in the paragraph that begins with with a permanent and that's right here and uh, I want to um, right click on the red wavy underlined word and um, some options will pop up and I will click on temporary and that will correct it. In the next line locate the word that displays with a red wavy underline and point to it right click and uh, that is right here and this is I've got and in here twice and so I want to delete the repeated word and um, then I want to do a control home move to the top of the document and uh, go to my review tab and over on the left side I've got a spelling and grammar button here and um, I want to click on that and it will start checking my spelling for me and uh, it's you know it only finds words that are in its dictionary so it tries to find a match for this and it doesn't find it and I want to ignore all of those because those are actually spelled correctly and then now it goes to the word which which is the wrong instance of the word which and I want to uh, select which over here and then I want to click on change and then on the word used and yeah, we want use instead click on change and um, let 
references should be changed to references with one R and then uh, a should be changed to an and it'll tell us um, whoops I skipped convenience here uh, correct that and then it'll tell us that it's complete and uh, that takes care of this checking the spelling it's also a thesaurus in word which uh, is a list of synonyms and I want to view the body of the letter, which I'm doing in the paragraph that begins with with a permanent, which is right here. Um, at the end of the second line, double click to select the word diversity. Um, Okay, um, and now in the proofing group up here, click on thesaurus, and we'll get some options here, and um, I want to change diversity to variety, so click on variety. And... Uh, Actually, let's back up one here. Click on Variety, and I want to insert that. Okay, and I didn't mean to click on that. Um, what I want to do here is let's uh, click on the down arrow and choose Insert. So I've got to click on the arrow, not on the word. And now we have Variety there instead of Diversity. And you know, we go, want to go to the paragraph that begins with as my resume and double click the word exceptional. And um, click the source again. And we'll get some options here for exceptional. And we want to use excellent. Click on the down arrow and click on insert and it'll replace excellent. And then we want to close the pane over here and uh, go to our file tab and this opens up backstage view and click on the info tab and I'm not going to do this um, you can put in um, under tags uh, you know you can add some words here but if you want to do that fine I don't think that's something you're going to use uh, so we'll close out of Backstage View. We'll save our document before we go any further. And um, the activity at the bottom of page 209 is doing an envelope, and it says that's optional, and we're going to skip that. And um, now we're going to go to Objective 7 on page 210. We're going to create a document using a pre-designed Microsoft Office template. Um, so just double-click or double check make sure I've saved it go to file and go to close which will close the document but it'll still leave me in Word and now I'm on the bottom of page 210 um, I want to search for a template online so I have to go to file new in order for that to come up when I'm already in Word normally it comes up when you start Word um, and I want resume references and hit enter and it will search for a bunch of templates online. And we get quite a few hits here. Uh, the one that we want should look like the top of page 211, which is uh, appears to be this one right here. And so we're going to click on that and then click on Create. And it will download the template for me. And you see, I've, all, I've got all these things in square brackets here, and these little gray boxes up here. Um, these are templates that are meant to be filled in by you, but uh, the document itself gives you the overall structure. And um, so I want to save as, and I want to save this in, um, let me see, I want to go to my. Let's go to desktop here, 
and under desktop I want to go to CSC 110 and this is chapter 2 of Word so it's Word 02 and I want to call this last name, put your last name, first name to be reference list and hit enter to save it and now we're on page 212 and um, all of these places here they'll turn gray and a little um, gray box will pop up here telling you what you're supposed to put in so you type in your name and then you type in your street address city state and zip actually I guess we're doing Jennifer Garcia stuff here aren't we that's no big deal and um, Oops, I hit tab. Um, click on the next one. Put in the phone. And put in the email. And in the area down here is where you could actually type in all the references that they show you on um, the top of page 212. And so you'd type in stuff here, here, and here, and you know how to type, and then you would fill in appropriate stuff here until it looks like the figure 2.39 in the middle of page 212. And if you don't want stuff down here at the bottom, because we've only got two references, you just go down here and drag the mouse over it all. Hit the delete key once, and uh, okay, I didn't delete this one, so just click on this and then right click actually. And I thought we could right click and delete that. Apparently, we just have to click on the word name here and hit delete, and the whole thing goes away. And that is the end of Project 2B.